This video is about the braking effect that affects a magnet when sliding down a slope made of a conducting material. This is a direct consequence of Lenz's law. I'm going to rearrange the camera for a better view. I also have a second angle from this camera here. The slope consists of a metal sheet, aluminium in this particular case, and a wooden plank. They are both covered with a plastic foil to have similar frictional properties when an object slides down the slope. As a test, I'm going to slide two similar objects on both surfaces. These blocks are made of aluminium. There isn't much of a difference between the way the two blocks slide on the wooden plank and on the metallic surface. Let's now release the magnet on each of the two surfaces. On the wooden surface first. And now on the metal surface. This braking effect is a direct consequence of Lenz's law, which states that any action that produces electromagnetic induction, in this case the pull of gravity, will produce such an induced current into this metal sheet that it will oppose the action. In other words, it will oppose the sliding of the magnet down the slope. You're probably wondering why Lenz's law states that the induced currents in the aluminium slope would have such a direction that they oppose the sliding of the magnet. Imagine what would happen in the opposite case. What if those currents would help accelerating the magnet down the slope? That would mean that the magnet gains some additional kinetic energy that comes from nowhere. So that would be against the conservation of energy. So in other words, Lenz's law is just another way of expressing the law of conservation of energy.